Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be, um, hey Mr. Hino, I have a brick program. Would I be able to transport or import that into my Lego Mindstorm software? The answer is yes, and I'll show you how to do that. So let me give you the situation. I have some of my students who they use up all 16 blocks of a brick program and then they run out of, of blocks and it's like, oh man, I was maybe two or four blocks away from finishing my program. And then they feel stuck, like I can't you know, recreate that anywhere. So what they can do is they can now take that brick program, import it into their Lego Mindstorm software and continue it, you know, whatever they were gonna accomplish uh, in, on their laptop or in the software. So let me go ahead and show you on the brick uh, brick program, and then I'll show you how to import that into your Lego Mindstorm software. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm on my Lego EV3 brick here, and let me just show you a quick brick program that I did. So I have this brick program going forward for two seconds. I have it stopping for two seconds, and then I have the gate drop coming down at full speed at one for one second and I only have that happening one time okay so what I did is I named this program Hino and then what we'll do is we'll go straight to the uh, Lego Mindstorm software so I will meet you on my laptop okay everybody I'm on my laptop my Lego Mindstorm software here I've opened up a new program template so let me recap real quick. That brick program had a forward for two seconds. It had a stop for two seconds. And then it had the medium motor dropping for one second. So I have my brick plugged in with my USB cable here. So here's what I'll, all I want to do is I just want to go up to your tools. And I want to go down to import brick program. So what it's going to do is look uh, on the brick for a brick program. So I told you guys I titled it Hino. So I'm going to click it, and I'm going to click Import. And let me go ahead and close that out. So there it is. It imported my brick program as now a Mindstorms uh, program file here. So there's that forward. If you guys ever wondered what percent of the motor speed the brick is, it's at 70% for two seconds there. There's my stop for two seconds. And then there's that full power uh, medium motor for that one second. So what's really neat is now my students are able to transfer a brick program if they feel like they need to modify it. They need to extend it past the 16 uh, limit uh, for blocks. So now they can add to that if they ran out of space. So it's just real convenient that you can now... Um, import those files and not really lose a beat and feel like you've messed up you know all that time or wasted time doing that brick program and now you'd have to restart over again now you can just import it and kind of uh, take off uh, where you left off all right guys hopefully that was helpful um, I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics I am out <laughs>